I thought it would be interesting to do a video on the sequence of surveillance footage during the time that Kanika is on her walk and also show her where she is on her, you know, when she's her drunk walk or whatever you call it, intoxicated. She's walking through the halls. That walk at the same time, other things are going on. Now, keep in mind, these aren't perfect. I noticed that when you play back the EXE files, the motion, the speed varies a little bit. So when you capture it and you sync it up to a timeline, you have to kind of, you know, slow footage down, like, you know, 100, maybe make it 93% uh, speed or 102 to get the speed to match the actual, like, um, you know, a real timeline. So you have a digital clock up here in the upper left that I use that's, uh, you know, real accurate. All right, so um, this is kind of the look I'm talking about. So you're going to see what's going on at the exact moment Kanika is moving throughout the hotel. All right, so let's just start playing it. I, I started a little bit before she comes out of the, the elevator, though. Because I, I wanted to make sure I got the security guard walking. Because if I'd left just a little part out just prior, somebody would complain about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, before we get here, there was something interesting that I noticed, too. Let me show you this. See, this is all the footage. Now, notice there's, a, there's more of a cluster here and over here, but there's this huge gap here that very few people are even moving around. And like I've said before, it's like a perfect storm. You know, this case uh, is just, you know, or you could maybe imperfect storm, you know, perfect sounds positive, but you know, it's like the movie. Everything went, everything that could go wrong went wrong and led to her death. I mean, it's totally tragic. Um, so let's just watch this. I fit this back in the way it was. Okay. So I think I mentioned the time isn't going to be exactly right. It might be two, three seconds off on, in some cases. So, all right. So this is around 324 and 52, 53 seconds. You see the lady at the front desk. So you can see these are synced up pretty well. Okay, right at that moment, 325 and Kanika comes out the elevator. I think she came from the ninth floor, hit LL, and went all the way to the bottom. Okay, security guard right there at the front desk. Front desk. Okay. And now Kanika's going to be coming up the ramp here a few seconds later now keep in mind this is lobby see these stairs right here if Kanika went this direction she'd be right here with all these people at this time see right there she kind of looks left almost went left had she gone left she would have ended up right here with all these people and even might have even bumped into some people uh, from the party you know I don't know for sure if these people are from the party but yeah, there's a lot of people there from the party. I, I don't know if there was like 100 people or not, but uh, she might have bumped into them. Okay, now she's continuing her walk, goes around. So right now, she is, you know, floor below, and there's nobody down there. So you can watch all the surveillance footage. It's on, you know, the floor above, right? And those guys in that video went in the lobby area, but what they probably did was turn this direction and headed towards the elevators. If you watched that other video I made, the elevators are back in that direction. Okay. So right now, there's just very little going on. I mean, look at how the lobby's really still. And right now, Kanika's down walking in a hallway. 
see this this uh, for about six minutes there isn't really much activity at all just in general you know and it was just absolutely the wrong time for any of this to I mean it's never the right time but for her to be drunk or intoxicated stumbling through the halls this was absolutely the worst moment all right so and she goes up into the lower kitchen I mean there isn't a soul around at this point You know, if somebody else can find some other motion during that exact time, let me know. But uh, I looked through all the folders and videos that I had, and maybe I missed something or, you know, but I didn't find any, any extra. Okay, there's that other shot, that newer shot in the kitchen. see her head just for a second there so now there's a gap here this is when she is walking by those chairs in my other video okay now here's the mom with her the son with the, the neck pillow on I think I recorded that too at a high, too high of a speed Okay, now there's Kanika. She had just came out those double doors after passing those chairs in the kitchen that I showed in my walkthrough video. And right now, here's that mother with her child with the neck pillow. And this is what I'm saying. Now, see how she takes a left right here? Now watch right here. These are the stairs that Kanika would have came up had she taken that left. You'll see the mother come out here in just a couple seconds here. Because there's two, you have to go up that flight of steps this way and then like this. So she's going to come up. See? And she's walking really slow because she was texting. You know, but they came up. So, you know, that's... And there's a security guard that everybody's curious about. But, you know, he's... He walked by. Probably, I think he went to the elevators, actually, because he doesn't should go down that hallway to the left to the left right over here okay now right about now the activity starts picking up a little bit upstairs okay you see somebody some movement way down there and I think somebody starts walking by in this area but you know see the lobby's a little bit busier now Yeah, see, these two are off by four seconds right now, but, you know, it's close. All right, see, like, she just showed up, but then this one's a little bit behind, 56, you know, about a second behind. All right, someone's now here's Kanika. She's downstairs walking. Now she's heading back into those double doors towards those chairs that were stacked. And this is when she makes her sort of a journey through uh, up the stairs and through the wooden doors and into the kitchen. Okay. And here's Bree Bree at 3:31 coming by but she heads straight back to the elevators as you've seen in the video I made yesterday that shows the actual where the elevators are in relation to the lobby and how you actually would be able to take them all the way from the ninth floor clear down to the lower level or the lobby level all right so you can see that, that guy with the backpack and all his shots he's Looks like he's um, he's got a load of luggage out in the lobby there. 
because there's a guy with the backpack. All right. So at this point, Kanika is in a place he shouldn't be right now. You know, maybe it should have been secured, but she's in a place where she shouldn't be, and um, you know, going through those double doors, the wooden double doors upstairs at this point, and then she ends up coming through this kitchen. And if you notice, there's absolutely nobody, you know, around anywhere. It's just dead. You got the manager, he's at the front desk. And there's just, you know, he's back here. I mean, or the manager right here went to the luggage room. So he went through this door and I guess there's some kind of luggage room. And then he grabs something. See, these are off a little bit. Five, yeah, that was about five seconds ahead. So that's about it right there, you know. Um, so, yeah, you don't see him pick up whatever that, uh, the, uh, yeah, he's got it. It's right there. He's got some shirts, I guess. But, yeah, it's five seconds. Yeah, you can see him hanging to the ground right there. Because I know somebody will question it. But see the shirts, the same bag. It's right there. So he goes out, but like I said, um, the varying speed, you have to adjust every so often to get everything synced up. Um, because the, when you're playing it back, it sort of goes quicker and slower and quicker. And, you know, it's not absolutely perfect like that, but you can line up the time codes. And that's that's the best. Whenever it, there's a second, you can line them up. Sometimes the seconds, of, the frames appear quicker and slower. And that's the part that's somewhat hard because then you have to adjust the timing every so often throughout the video. Okay, so I hope this shows you that there really wasn't much going on during most of her walk and that, you know, it really speaks to a tragic accident. All right, and I appreciate you watching the video and I'll be working on other ones in the future, so... Keep tuned and I will talk to you later. Bye.